welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa, and today we're going to be discussing alginates. So there are so many brands of different types of alginates, but if you know what an alginate is, it makes everything else so much easier. Um, a lot of people, when they start wound care, they get so fixated on a certain product or a certain name of a product. But if we know the basic, then you're like, okay, well, that's an alginate. You can recognize what it is and it doesn't matter what the actual brand is. We're really using the same thing, okay? But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel reach more people. So let's get started, guys. So what is an alginate? Alginate dressings. So alginate wound dressings are non-woven, non-adhesive pads and ribbons composed of natural fibers, um, even from seaweed. On contact with exudate, these dressings form a moist gel through the process of ion exchange. They are soft and comfortable. They're easy to pack or tuck into irregular shaped wounds. They're used for wounds that have moderate to heavy amounts of exudate. So we want to make sure that they do have that moderate to heavy amounts because it is pulling the moisture away to form that moist gel layer over top the wound. But if we don't have enough moisture in a wound, enough exudate, it will dry out the wound. So these are good for wounds such as pressure injuries, infected wounds, venous insufficiency wounds, and alginates generally do need a secondary dressing over top. So alginate dressings, they do absorb high amounts of exudate and they are a non-occlusive dress. So like I said, these dressings create a gel contact with the wound when Exudate is absorbed, allowing a just moist wound environment. So we want the wound to be just as moist as our eyeball. That is the absolute perfect environment for a wound to heal. And these dressings also promote autolytic debridement, if that's something that you need for the wound. So here are some of the features of alginates. When it creates the gel-like layer over the wound, this creates a atraumatic removal. So it's easy to remove from the wound. It's non-occlusive. It can be cut to fit. You can layer it for more absorption properties. It is bioabsorbable and can absorb up to 20 times their weight in exudate. So indications for use, when do we use an alginate dressing? So it is indicated as a primary dressing in the treatment of moderate to heavy exudating wounds. So this is partial and full thickness, such as stage three or four pressure ulcers, dermal wounds, surgical incisions, dehist wounds, tunneling wounds, sinus tracts, and donor site. Alginates that contain silver can also be used to help manage infected wounds. Alginates can also provide hemostasis for post-operative wounds with minimal bleeding, okay? So alginates will help stop a bleed that is minor. Now, if you have a major bleed, it is not going to help with that, but uh, a minor to almost moderate bleeding wound, it will help stop. So when are alginate dressings contraindicated? So for wounds with dry eschar, third degree burns, if you have surgical implants, we don't want to be using this because sometimes it will stick, um, also including bone, ligament, um, anything in the wound bed, we wouldn't want to use an alginate dressing or wounds that are bleeding heavily. Next, we're going to look at just general warnings for alginate dressing. So it may dehydrate the wound bed if there's not enough exudate. This is not appropriate for dry wounds. We want to avoid packing narrow, deep sinuses because it does have a tendency to pull apart. Most times you need a secondary dressing to secure. It can have a malodorous during dressing changes, okay? So sometimes with the exudate, there is a foul smell on removal and there may be little fibers left in the wound bed if draining isn't sufficient enough to fully gel the product. So that's all that I have for this video. I hope you did find it helpful. And I just want to restate that if you know the main categories of wound dressings, it's not overcomplicated. Some people really overcomplicate wound care because there are so many different types 
of dressings. Yes, there are so many different types of dressings, so many brands, um, but when it comes down to it, they're very similar. An alginate is an alginate, no matter what brand it is. Does it have an antimicrobial on it or does it not? Um, it goes for all the different categories of wounds, okay? Um, of wound dress. So with that said, that's alginate. That's all I have for this video, and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye for now.